Welcome back to the channel, wieners. What is cranking? We are back on the scene doing a little bit of spring fishing. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm not on the slow. The white slow is in the shop right now, getting some toys added to it. She's perfectly fine, she's very healthy. You guys have been hitting me up so much in the comments asking to do more kayak fishing videos, and I personally love kayak fishing just because you can catch a lot of big fish from kayaks. We're also trying out a new kayak today. Uh, not gonna do a review, maybe save that for a different video, but um, figured we'd take it out in the drink and give her a run. Uh, the location, we're at some little random stone quarry on the outskirts of DFW. It is a crazy lake. The water's crystal clear, there's tons of reeds. The bass should be spawning post-spawnish. I don't really know, maybe some pre-spawn, but it's a beautiful lake and I'm very stoked to get after it. So without further ado, folks, stick with it, stay tuned, and let's go crank them. <sighs> There we go. That was so quick. GCP. <laughs> ha! First one of the day. First one in the new kayak. Well, we did it. We've christened the new yak with a nice slimy green boy. Good little fish. Look at him. He's so tiny. Figured with all this wind and it being springtime, I'd start off with a little bladed jig. I'm throwing a saucy swimmer on the back, a 3.3 size and like a pearl color. This lake is clear, it's loaded full of grass, and these fish should be fired up right now, even re regardless of the cold front last night. It was like 75 yesterday. So it literally went from like 75 to 30 degrees, and uh, yeah, I'm sure it's got the fish like kind of strange, but that one clearly didn't mind. So that's a, it's a good first sign. I was just reeling along the reeds and she chomped it. Lucky, what is, what is the matter with you? That is enough. There we go. That's a good one. Oh, very nice fish. Just clapped it. Just clapped it. He's not giant, but he's not tiny, I suppose. He's pretty good. Man, he ate it so good. Just throwing it up in some shallow grass. He's really not that big. He's just got a nice head. He got a big old noggin, my friend. Just choked it. Up in front is just a, a, a lot of shallow greenery. A lot of vegemication. And there's no better bait for some vegemication, such as a bladed jig, or like a swim jig, honestly, or I guess a swim bait. I guess there's a few pretty good <laughs> lures to throw in the, in the veg, but I just like a chatter bait. There we go, that was sweet on the drop. Ooh, he ain't bad. Definitely much bigger than those other two. Stay pin, stay pin. <laughs> oh, I love it when they eat the moving bait. Yes, yes! Woo! Yes, sir. He got a noggin. He got a belly. He dumb thicky. So I actually switched chatter baits. I was throwing like a chartreuse chad a second ago. And with this water being clear, I just wanted to throw something a little more natural. I don't necessarily know if there is like shad forage in here, but I do know for a fact there's bluegill. So I switched to this bluegill with a bandito bug on the back. We're getting into kind of a spawning flat, so. I can definitely see there being some uh, more active fish back here. We'll, we'll have to play her by ear though. That was a sweet catch. Damn, that was dope. Let's see if we get another one. Oh my God, all the way back there. Oh, good one too. Just popped me. Oh, dude, that was so legendary. It is so legendary. Gotcha. Look at that one. <laughs> In the back of this little pocket, he came out of nowhere and just struck me. Hit me hard. It's been caught before, actually. He's got a nice hook mark in him. Uh, decent little bass. <laughs> that was crazy, dude. He, they are clobbering this chatterbait right now, just smoking it. There's another one. Dude. See ya. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, she's got babies. Oh, this could get this could get weird. This could get weird. This could get weird. This could get weird. Oh. No! No! Get away from me! Lucky, protect me! Hey! No! No! Ah, Jesus! Things just started hissing at me. I thought it was going down. I was like certain. I hate these. I literally hate these. 
That's sweet, dude. Nice job. Killing the game. Just killing the game. There we go. Oh, <laughs> you went flying. <laughs> Just a wiener bass. Just a wee little bass. <laughs> Thought it was a good one. Felt like a good bite. See ya. Oh, there's one on the bed. That was so sick. <laughs> so cool. There's a real shallow bed up there and I just like saw it before the fish saw me through the uh, Kraken craw in there. He clobbered. I'm surprised I haven't seen more beds. This water is definitely warm. I think the reason why I'm not seeing a lot of beds is because they're post spawn They've just kind of already done their thing. Wow, that, that's a bed if I've ever seen one. Oh my God, just so obvious. So obvious, nice little male spawner. Late spawner, no female around, so weird. Buddy, you're a little late to the party, but I'll take you, dude. There he is, oh, another one just came right off. That's so sick when I lose him, it's my favorite part. All right, I'm gonna get lost in the sauce. This is a spot I haven't been to in this lake. I've fished this like twice, but I've never really been back this far. And it is spring, and these fish will put themselves in some really weird spots. That's the main creek, and this is the micro creek to the main creek. I've never been back here, and I saw it on Google Maps, so I wanted to give it a peep. I just had a bite right here, so it leads me to believe there's probably some life back there. Plus, it's out of the wind. That's the huge part. I don't want to be in the wind right now. Ooh, this is gonna be sick. This is like some backwaters marsh type stuff hidden waters uncharted territory be a little risky here try the frog out see if i can get one to come up on it well, that was a terrible cast off to the right looks like a bunch of frogginess oh my god that looks super froggy oh my god that was so cool i had too much freaking smudge <laughs> on my frog for that fish to take it. I didn't feel him, he might come back. Round two, round two, round two. You want it, it's still there. Yeah, he wants it. Oh my God, how did I miss him? How did I miss this thing? I knew it had to happen. It just looked too good back here. Oh my God, I just got another eat. Does this thing have hooks? What's going on here? I am gonna switch frogs though because uh, the popping frog is great. It's just not awesome for this application. I'm gonna throw a, a different type of filthy frog on here. This, this is my little kayak box I put together last night. Here are the few lures I keep in here. I got some kind of big line through swim baits, some filthy frogs, chatter bait, got a flat banger, some little recons. Uh, Guggen Squad swim jig. I should actually probably throw this because I think they are eating bluegill in here. Um, then we also have a Buka bull shad, baby bull shad, and just a few terminals. Like not much, like a buzz bait too. This is just what I like bring. Oh, I forgot the frog. This is just kind of what I like bringing with me uh, when I'm on the roll. Plus, I've got all my gear, my boat, and the boats in the shop. So this is just kind of what I'm rolling with. Get up on it. That was so sick. That was just dirty. That was just dirty. Are you kidding me? That was... Oh, he missed it again. That same fish missed it. I'm going to throw in there with a uh, craw. I'm going to throw in the craw, finish him off. Come on, buddy. I know you want that craw. What a confusing fish that is. All right. Well, I stand corrected. Get on top water for hungry fish. There. there we go about time we got one guy i think he came off did he come off yep he came off wow son of a bitch i suck oh i really haven't done that much frog fishing this year as you can tell <laughs> i just have missed four fish in a row what is the matter with me yes good one too good one too yes on the frog come here poppy i got gotcha. you finally finally first frog fish of the year 
and it came in early April. I dig it, I dig it, I dig it, I dig it. Let me put this guy back. When I first launched the kayak here in this little lake, I checked some of the reeds to see if there's any fish bedding, and it was quite the opposite. There's actually lots of fry, meaning like baby bass surrounding the reeds. So I think these fish are more in post-spawn, and with that in mind, the fish are gonna be kind of more towards the surface. The fry, they're dumb, they're stupid, they're little babies. They kind of just hang out uh, in the higher water column in the surface. And the uh, the males and the females will still guard the fry as if you know they're guarding the bed with the eggs. And one really good way to threaten those fry is to use a little frog. And it just, uh, it gets the, the males and the females protecting the fry really riled up. So I think a lot of these bites I'm getting aren't necessarily actual eats. They're more or less just like, you know, uh, male and female bass protecting their young. I of course can't like see the fry everywhere. They're so tiny. They're like microscopic in some cases, but I think I'm running over some, uh, some pods of fry because I, I for sure saw some when I first pulled up. There you are. There you are. Oh, decent, decent. That's a freaking good one. On the lunker log, yes, choked it too, just choked it. I was really wondering how it wasn't in any bites on this thing, like the lunker log never fails. You'd think the lunker log would start catching fish before the filthy frog, but today it's been the opposite. Wow, nice one, not bad. Oh God, wait, buddy, what's happening? What's going on with the tail? Looking a little goofy today. All right, I take that back. You're a little strange, but hey, I love you. I love the unique bass. I appreciate you. Thank you for eating. Bye bye, bud. A little sentimental there. Well, wow, one down for the lunker log. I dig it. That's good stuff. I always love throwing this bait in the springtime. It's just, it's a killer. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, there's a nice bass right there. Oh boy, he didn't see me yet. He does not see me yet. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my God, that was disgusting. That was so gross. That was so gross. Oh, that was like, honestly, not to toot my own horn here, but that was like the most perfect pitch I think I've ever had. Oh my Lord. Like I threw it right at his nose, super softly. And he came up and crushed it. For some reason, this guy looked like a four pounder in the water. He's only about a pound, but that was still like one of the coolest moments of the day. Like I said, this water is so clear. You can sight fish them. Incredible. Look how green. This fish is, this fish is so green. <laughs> that was mega intense. I just saw him swimming back and forth and just like, boop, right in his nose. And he crushed it. Bye bye, buddy. Back in the slop skis you go. Oh, that's fun. There's really nothing better than watching a fish eat. Woo. Oh, well, the session is complete. It was a quick session. It was a good session. It was very concise. We caught some bass. Actually, this morning we went and fished one of my favorite creeks that I call out a big bass at, and it was a bust. We filmed a little bit. There wasn't really much that happened. I actually saw a trout, which was crazy. I saw a trout in a, in a creek in Texas. I was losing my mind. But anyway, really good sesh. Caught some good fish, got slime on the hands. That is a mission accomplished in my book. These three lures are the ones that kind of really came into play. Started off with the chatterbait, throwing a white kind of chartreuse shad. Worked pretty good, but then I remembered that really isn't the forage in this lake. Generally when I'm here, I see bass eating bluegill. So I switched then to kind of a bluegill pattern, half ounce uh, bladed jig. And then on the back, I was throwing a bandito bug, just kind of trimming off all the appendages except the last two. And then that really seemed, oh, is that soaked? Oh, Lucky's bed got soaked. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah, so then that little bandito bug kind of imitates like the tail fin of a bluegill. It's going like, doo -doo -doo, like that. So once it kind of leveled out on the chatterbait bite, I went in the backwater and threw the frog around, got a few bites, missed them, but that was enough confidence for me to keep throwing the frog. Then I started kind of concentrating on areas of the reeds that were calm and that were very protected and that had like actual surface scum adjacent to it. That's when I started getting bites in the frog, caught a few nice ones. It's just always fun to catch them on the frog, whether they be a pound or 10 pounds. And then I cleaned up on a few fish here and there with the lunker log as well. So pretty well around a day. It's apparent that, you know, the spawn is slowly ending here in Texas. We've had such a weird spring. We've had so much rain. We've had like on and off cold and hot days. Like there'll be like one day where it's 90, then two days later it'll be 30 degrees Fahrenheit. 
doesn't make any sense, but that's just Texas, North Texas at least for you. But yeah, if you guys wanna pick up anything that we used in today's kayak fishing mission, check the link in the description below and scoop some for yourself. You can download our app where you can get all the apparel, all the baits, and just keep up to date with all the Guggen-ish content. Keep on the lookout for the review on these new kayaks. I'm pretty interested to share my thoughts and opinions on these dudes. I do like them, but there's some things that I think I wanna kinda of shed some light on uh, with these kayaks compared to the ones that I originally was running. But anyway, I'm peacing out, signing out. Hope you guys are staying safe, healthy, and as always, folks, keep fishing, never.